union workers that are gun enthusiasts, and you are actively trying to diminish our Second Amendment right and take away our guns. You're full of shit. All right, thank now, you. Now, now, shush. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Featuring Black Friday deals with 10% discount on peripherals such as mice, mechanical keyboards, and gamepads. And as usual, with 25% off across several products when using my SKG discount code, making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account, and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel for another new video. This time with the Adrenaline 21... 21? <laughs> the Adrenaline 22.11.1 drivers. And as I say in all my videos, 22 is the year, 2022, 11 is the month, November, and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of November. And before going into the release notes, just let me tell you that these drivers are optional, so they are not recommended, but we do have two HWQL drivers, so uh, two signed drivers, certified drivers by Microsoft, uh, which are the 22.10.2 and the 22.10.3 that later also got the WHQL certification, okay? They didn't have it on the release day, but it was later added as WHQL, okay? So both these drivers, in my opinion, the 22.10.2 and the 22.10.3 are just great. So if you don't want these ones, just use one of those because, like I told you, they're great. So let's start with the release notes. Firstly, we have the highlights with support for Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 and Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales. So from what I know, the Miles Morales... The Miles Morales... <laughs> the Miles Morales game... Uh, isn't released yet, so we actually have support for the game before it is released, which is very nice. As for the Call of Duty Warzone 2.0, I believe it was released yesterday, so we have indeed uh, support on the release day, which is very nice. Although Warzone 2 is kind of an extension of the Modern Warfare 2, so it is the same. We had support before with, uh, modern, uh, with the 22.10.3 driver, so it is okay. But that's all for the highlights. As for the fixed issues, we have World of Warships prediction lines may be missing on Raiden RX 6000 series GPUs, another annoying issue that was fixed. When Raiden anti-lag is enabled, a beep can be heard when pressing Shift plus back key, also fixed. OpenGL applications using MSAA, multi-sampling anti-aliasing, anti sorry, may see visual corruption. Certain monitors may experience higher than expected idle VRAM clock speeds, on Raiden RX 6000 series GPUs. Now, from some comments that I already saw on my channel, uh, on my comment section, for example, on, and on my community tab, I can already tell you that this wasn't fixed for all users. And if you are running a, a lower end GPU, it will most likely not get fixed because in order to have those two monitors working properly, they need the VRAM clocks high for stability, okay? That's how it works. If your GPU is stronger, then maybe it was fixed for you. So it seems that this issue was fixed for some in terms of multi-monitor only, but not for all. That's a thing, I, b I believe. That's a thing with AMD drivers. Some, sometimes we get fixes for one or two or 1,000 people and then the others don't get the fix. That's how it works. Selected objects may be missing in edificios and lower than expected direct storage GPU decompression performance on some Radeon RX Vega and RX 500-400 series graphics cards. Yes, because direct storage was now added, okay? Direct storage was added on the AMD drivers, which is very nice. The first game with direct storage will be uh, Forspoken, if I'm not mistaken, and it will bring direct storage, which AMD will call AMD Smart Access Storage. Okay, so SAS, Smart Access Storage, like we have Smart Access Memory uh, for the resizable bar implementation of AMD. We have Smart Access Storage for the, um, the direct storage GPU, which basically um, kind of ignores the CPU uh, in instead of calling the CPU to actually send the, um, the textures, for example, the calls, it will uh, directly use the GPU, it will directly send it to the GPU, so the load times will be way better, okay? but once this technology drops out, I will make a video testing it and explaining it 
um, in a way way deeper scenario, okay? But basically that's it, way better load times, no texture streaming and so on. Now as for the known issues, during video playback and window switching, an intermittent driver timeout or black screen may occur on Raiden RX 6000 series GPUs using some 240Hz refresh rate displays or high refresh rate primary display plus low refresh rate secondary display configurations. This is something that uh, has been happening for quite some time. My brother uses multi-monitor, two monitors in this case, and he uses one with 144 and another with 60 Hz and it functions properly as it should, okay? Uh, and it works it works 24 seven without issues, but some people do have issues like these uh, and it seems that it is still on the, on the known issues and we actually don't have uh, any date uh, for AMD to fix those issues. Maybe because they are actually uh, aiming on the RDNA 3 launch, on the RDNA 3 release date, and that's why they don't have a precise date or a precise driver where they will fix the issue. That's a possibility. The second one is GPU utilization may be stuck at 100% in Raiden performance metrics after closing games on AMD graphics products such as Raiden 570. Another, another bug that has been here for several months and should be fixed ASAP it's just a damn GPU, okay? It's one, one issue with one GPU Radeon 570, so just fix it and give people a break. Some people have this issue with the 580 as well, so just give people a break, seriously. Stuttering may occur during video playback using hardware acceleration with Firefox on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6900 XT. Now, it seems that this does not happen for, the, for all users and not uh, for Google Chrome anymore because it was fixed on the past drivers, but it still happens with Firefox, God knows why, and mostly with the 6900 XT. If you have any other cards and if you have the, the problem, uh, actually leave in the comment section, tell me if you still have this problem or if you have this problem with any other card that isn't the 6900 XT because I really want to know. On my scenario, um, video stuttering appears a bit on Firefox and on Firefox with my RX 6800 when I'm playing at 1440p, videos at 1440p. 1080p it is smooth, 1080p 60 smooth. As soon as I go to 1440p or 4K 60 uh, it has some stutters here and there so it seems like running at 30 FPS instead of 60 but I mean it's not a game breaker, I still use Firefox and I do watch videos, so yeah. And as for the important notes, we have AMD software capture and stream features and overlay support for clone mode and iFinity display configurations will be introduced at a later date. So more things will be coming uh, to the AMD software, which is very nice. But at the same time, since more things are coming, it also means that more bugs may be appearing in the future and then AMD needs to fix those bugs. So let's hope not, let's hope not. Now, as for my experience with these drivers, these drivers are pretty... These drivers are pretty okay, actually. Um, I didn't have any black screens, any blue screens on my 6700 XT and my 6700 non-XT. No issues at all, everything working fine. I even tested the games. Modern Warfare 2 and, by the logic, Warzone 2 as well, since they are actually the same game, okay? They are using the, the same game engine and so on. So whatever. Modern Warfare 2 is actually a little bit faster on the 22.10.3 drivers and these ones, the 22.11.1. So if you are using the 22.10.2 drivers, well, you will get an FPS boost with the 22.10.3 or if you want these ones for Warzone 2.0 support, you will also get a boost with these ones. Not a huge boost in most scenarios, not a huge boost for most cards, but for cards like the 6800 uh, non-XT and above, you'll have a decent boost of, let's say, like 5% uh, in some scenarios. So it's a thing to consider, a higher 1% lows and higher averages as well. As for other games, it seems that the, the FPS numbers are exactly the same, which is completely fine, at least for me. And well, that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Also, leave your comment in the comment section telling me and us, the community, your experience with these drivers, if you're having problems, if it all, if it all works uh, dandy, sandy dandy mandy, it doesn't really matter what I'm saying. 
if it all works fine or not, uh, and if you actually have problems or not, because that helps us as a community, so other people can actually know if these drivers have problems or not, at least on your side. And also it helps them if the driver is working perfectly and they actually know that the driver uh, is working perfectly for you or not. And also helps AMD because if someone inside AMD actually watches the, um, the comment section, well, they will be helped in some scenarios since people are reporting lots of errors here. So that's one of the point of these videos. By the way, uh, the next video will be the unboxing of the Intel Arc A770. I actually bought this GPU, I bought it. Uh, of course, Intel didn't send one because they don't have to actually. Uh, it would be nice that if they actually sent one, I asked them, but it seems that my channel, well, they actually told me that well, um, they didn't have more space for more uh, for more reviewers right now, but all of that means that my channel just isn't big enough for them to send um, parts, GPUs, CPUs, etc. But I'm okay with that. I'll keep grinding. But well, I got the A770 because it was at the same price as the A750 on PC components, so almost 70 or 80 euros discount for Black Friday. Um, so I, I ended up getting it and man, the GPU just looks, look at this box, it's the limited edition, the GPU just looks insane um, and the unboxing will come very very soon so stay tuned for it if you want to see the unboxing and more benchmarks on the, um, on the A770 and of course I finally ended up testing my first three GPUs so the um, the RTX 3070, the 7, the 70, the 6700 XT, sorry, and the 6800 to do the next video benchmark of GPUs with the LSS, FSR, XESS tests, ray tracing, and lots of new games in terms of rasterization. Okay, stock overclocked and overclocked plus resizable bar and smart access memory. So the new benchmarks will be very very nice uh, and way more complete than the previous ones. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching and let's go to the benchmarks. See you in the next video. Rambles. <laughs> You're going too fast for me. Come on, sorcerer, catch us! <sighs> hey, slow down. You'll exhaust our villain. This is your tower. It's evil. <laughs> Doesn't he ever get tired? <sighs> I really should get back to studying. <sighs> Come on, we had a long journey today. Thank you.